Here's the thing, yeah? Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Zaniolo card. I know Italian Stallion's super happy about this one for sure, but we are taking a look at a card who is six foot three, high medium work rates, left footed, three star skill moves, three star weak foot. In game player traits, he has the injury prone traits, the flare trait, in game attributes. Do, 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 do. Okay, so they released a concept SBC, pretty much, because of the way that he's currently formatted. So he has low composure. Interesting. Okay, so 86 acceleration with 88 sprint speed. This is the type of card I have to give a basic chemistry style to first, because right away, if I'm going to actually do and create this card, Hunter chemistry style, right? You give him the pace boost with a 96, 98, while boosting the shooting as much as possible. The thing is, though, is that the way that the basic is formatted, it kind of gives them boosts in different areas. And if you don't care too much about the meta of the game with pace and whatnot, the boost that he's given is actually pretty solid because shot power being a 93 is nice because 84 finishing is already pretty solid, even though you have to only shoot with his left foot, to be fair. Uh, base card stats with pace, he has 86 acceleration, which is a little odd because he is six foot three with a unique body type. Yeah, this is the type of card I have to give a basic to. I have to try them out on that first. Uh, but base card stats for shooting, I do want to experiment with it again from a basic perspective. Base card stats for passing is very good on this card, to be fair. Don't think it's necessarily a huge issue there. Base card stats for dribbling is going to be in the mid 80s area with 76 composure while being six foot three. So we're going to have to take a look and see what that's going to be like in game. A little bit of defensive stats in the 50s. You know, at least it's not in the red. A little, a little bit of yellow is not bad. A little bit of yellow is not bad. Uh, physical, he's got 91 for strength. Considering he's a big guy, it's definitely very helpful to have with 83 aggression. And then 80 for stamina. So, yeah, a card like this, guys, is what we call over here a concept card, right? Like, it's cards they release that aren't too crazy, but could be good for what it is. So, with Zaniolo, guys, we are going to be trying him out in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, Dybala... Simeone could definitely play on the side for now, actually. Um, we're going to have to do some something here for now because Simeone will just play fullback and then we'll just have Zaniolo over here and put him over here and then switch that over here and put Mars over here on the side. Yeah, I just want to see what his attacking AI is like, if it's like unique in any way. I do have stay central for this, but for the sake of the review, we're going to put him on balanced yeah not gonna be a balanced team but we just need to see what he's like playing in the main attacking positions because he is originally a cam player with 80 stamina it is a card that i see mostly being played through the middle but um yeah we'll see how he plays in game man hopefully he is decent all right we'll switch to the attacking formation and we will see how he plays in game we'll get an interception right away it is very nice to work with the height. Ooh, good aggressive run right away. All roll touch, driven, shoot right away. Good finish. That's Dybala, man. Dybala's, uh, I, listen, he's one of the medium mediums that I like, guys. I'll be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, the play did start there with Zaniolo starting that run. Oh, very, very nice. A little shot from there. Why not? Zaniolo with a really well-weighted pass. Oh, there we go. Let's go, Maris. Oh, I took too much touches. I wanted to go for the flick there. I really did. Oh, Zaniolo with the header. Oh, I wish I got that touch right there. Oh, see, right there, I try to go for the double ball roll against the body. Because it kind of helps you control the ball a certain way, right? It's your body ahead of it. It's ahead of the defender. So, right away, I am noticing the high-medium work rates, guys. His high-medium work rates is a good one. It usually is for the attackers. I slow down there just to see if he's actually going to continue marking me. I'm going to go for a dribble right here. Little green time shot. Ooh, okay, okay. Over the net.
It's funny because I actually went for a Coqueta there, but then I totally forgot that he doesn't have the skill moves. <laughs> See, when you slow down, they just kind of like stop tracking you, right? So I like to do that a couple of times. Here's the thing. Yeah. He is moving across the pitch well. High medium work rates is a big thing this year, bro. It really is. I'm telling you guys, bro. High mediums, high lows for certain play styles. That was a great strike by him, though, man. I'll give him that. I will give him that. Ooh, that's a deflection. Oh, <laughs> FIFA deflections. Hey, boys. Ooh. You know what it is with him? So, his touch-and-go movement for a physical-type attacker is actually pretty nice. It's not bad. Like, his touches, when you do the first-time touches, is cool. So, if you just touch-and-go with him a lot, he's not bad, dude. I wish they just gave him a weak foot, though. Like, a four-star weak foot. I don't care about the skills. You guys know me, but just the, just the weak foot, at least. What's funny is that for Stallion's playstyle, if he still uses that uh, wide formation with his players cutting on the inside, I can totally see him using the Zaniolo card on the, on the right side. Okay, so no aggressive run afterwards in that situation, but you can kind of see that that touch and goal thing with him is actually pretty solid. You just don't want to dribble too much with him because of him being very physical oriented. Let's try that. What free kick animation does he have? It's a good one. I just have to put less power, but the free kick stats are not high enough. But the animation for his free kick is good. See, that's what you work off of, right? That physical presence that he has. Like, I'm only able to win the ball in the air like that in that situation because of how tall he is, how physical he is. He has the reach, too, to do those, like, last-second touches. They touch and go, touch and go. When you get it, when you get a drag like that, you gotta control a little bit. Ah, uh, I tried to get a shot cancel there. I didn't uh, cancel it quick enough. Because once the goalie starts to push you, the only other choice that you have is you have to get like a two and a half bar kind of um, chip shot off. Oh, green time shot misses that one, eh? Even that one, a, a ball that he shouldn't be winning at all, he's still able to win. Ah, oh, I gotta put more power on that. It's good that Mars actually makes that run there in that uh, in that situation. Oh, I try to hit it like a green time strike there. Imagine, there's like an animation for the goalie to just fall down randomly. <laughs> just like that quick with Zaniolo. Do you get that? Probably not. You can't force those types of situations out of him because he's not like the fastest, obviously. I'm trying. It's it's a little bit rough with him because of the, the height and the physical. Oh, could you imagine if I scored that? That would have been wild, man. That was a really good first touch by him. Shame about the weak foot, though. Oh. The pass off there was a little bit disappointing. Should have definitely been more accurate there. No way. Oh, that's like what you rely on, too, with him, too. Little body faint. Ball roll. Touch. Take him out a little bit. There you go. All roll. Ah, yeah, too far, too far. I accelerated at poor time right there. 
interception. The heights part is the one that's like very helpful to work with, obviously, for the defensive plays from time to time. Yeah, I had to go for like a first time cross right there. First time shot. Just going to change my defensive tactics here to be on pressure on heavy touch. To be fair, guys, he does have really good base shooting. Like when he gets into those like really high percentage strike angles, that's not, well, excuse me, that's not even high percentage because the distance makes it not high percentage, but he's actually hitting them pretty cleanly. But uh, you know what, guys? This is the type of card where you're supposed to play him in his original position. Like, So I'm playing him as a lone striker to test out attacking AI and stuff, but it's a card that you use as a secondary striker or as a cam. Probably a white time shot right there. Power strike. There you go. Get him on his left foot for those bad boys. He'll hit him actually pretty cleanly. Let me switch this around. So Dybala here... Simeone here. Zaniolo. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. He's uh he's definitely more of a cam. You know, like again, cam secondary striker for sure. Ah oh, my goodness. I, I held the through ball there. It should definitely have been like a, a ball to uh to Zaniolo there. He was already making the run. Yeah, his left foot strikes are very clean, guys. That's that's uh, under pressure as well. If he shoots it with his left, it's pretty decent. Honestly, in those situations with a card like this, it's better just as a shield and not to dribble at all and kind of just wait until the defense opens up a certain way. They need to shield. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Zaniolo card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, um, I wanted to just give him the basic chemistry style to see how he would perform with that just because of how the card is currently formatted. Now, to be honest with you guys, it's a weird situation with this card because if you give him a basic chemistry style, right, you give him some pace boost, some shooting boost, some dribbling boost, which is great, but then sometimes you feel like it would be really nice uh, to have all of that extra shooting, all of that extra pace, which is why most people are definitely going with the Hunter chemistry cell. But if I were to actually unlock this card and use him in my team, it would most likely have to be on a basic because with a card like this, it's a lot of touch and go type football, right? So for me personally, it's a type of card that you want to use as a secondary striker in a 4-4-2 or something, playing in that left striker position because of the high medium work rates, because of that physical presence and that build-up play that he can work with with the other players because of the fact that he can win the ball in the air really nicely because of that height that he has. Um, the card is really good at doing those first touches. Like if you do a driven pass to him, he's actually pretty solid at hitting those bad boys. It's just the lack of weak foot in the attack that's definitely very underwhelming from time to time, obviously, right? But here's the thing, man. On a basic chemistry style, he hits the ball really nicely on his left foot. Like they're very nice clean direct shots when you, whenever you get the angle with his left foot honestly just shoots because he's actually very nice at hitting them and i always make it a point to try not to hit the greens all the time uh because whether you hit a white or a green those are like different ones to kind of test out and see what the shooting is like but his left foot strikes are really nice the high medium work rate is obviously a great work rate to work with but obviously because of the fact that he's a six foot three player with a bigger body type in game it's just slower for him to utilize that empty space but you can still see that he does it well right like there's a lot of moments where i was using him in the cam position even in the striker position sometimes where he definitely utilized space really well like making those angled runs and whatnot which i think is very very important in fifa generally speaking though guys i do think that the sbc is more of a concept card and when i call these guys concept cards it's cards that you do for fun you know they're cards that the ea released for 50k and it's like oh here you go you can have fun with this card right but it's not really like a serious card right because with a card like zaniolo i don't like doing comparisons you guys know me right but if we were to compare you know uh just attackers in general like the cam position and whatnot I would rather much use the Dybala card, like 100%. I think Dybala 
um, is an absolute menace in the game this year. Right, so a card like this that costs 19.5k with a hunter chemistry style, even with the lack of weak foot, medium medium work rates, mainly playing in that medium uh, that cam position or secondary striker position. This card is actually really solid. Really enjoy using him because everything is formatted really nicely, except for reactions composure. You do notice that when you use the card for sure. But the hunter chemistry style is amazing for a card like this. If he gets a promo card in the future, he's definitely going to be a card to get, especially if they change the work rate to high medium like they did last year or high low. Whew, right. But let's see what else we got here, man. We got, um, you know, Illichich. Like these are cards that you mostly use for fun because they're physical type dudes. The thing is with uh, with this card, guys, I don't think he's a terrible card. He's just not an ideal card to use just generally. Right. Because. There's a lot of things I feel like EA could have done to the card, right? I think they could have given him the four-star weak foot. Pace could have been improved a little bit. So maybe if you were to give him, not pace, shooting, I would say more. Because then you would give him an engine, right? To work with his height and stuff. And an engine chemistry style with base card stats like that for shooting would be cool. But with the three-star, three-star uh, capabilities, it limits the card a lot, right? So it's a card that you definitely unlock more for fun than anything else. Not a card that I would do myself, but uh, Italian Stallion, man, I think even he would be disappointed in this card with what they could have done for sure. But uh, to be fair, guys, you could totally play him as one of the midfielders. Like if you're rocking the 4-5-1 uh, formation, like the one that we usually use to get chemistry with players, it's actually pretty solid this year in its own way. Uh, or you were to play in a 4-3-1-2 or a 4 one 2 2 and this card would be your more attacking oriented player playing in that left center mid position. It wouldn't be awful to do that as well because with a card like this again the height is very helpful for the physical aspect of the game because he'll actually defend for you from time to time like he'll reach for the ball because of how tall he is right so it is something that you can do for a card like zaniolo if you unlock him yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys